Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart. Another locked door. my sigils to carry the frost over here. You didn't believe in that. Down. 
I can stop him! Wow. I need you to help me get on his back! What? Trust me! Please! I got this! We do it your way, then. We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. <laughs> It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. We let someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was going to try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore. 
right? A god killer? You don't want war. No. But I will do what it takes to keep you safe. More than one sigil. Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. Sigil arrows don't work on that. Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. Great, it's open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? Comes to the Lord life. I can take no chances. Rosfulger. Should we talk to her?
She says there's six stairs to close and, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. Mr. Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together. You have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's?
No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, 
I'll be ready. Well said, Tiara. I believe you just might. I can sharpen that axe if you want. Live in Whetstone. That's me. Keep her sharp, and she'll keep you alive. Get so much as a paper cut in that. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Hey, wait! We're with you. <laughs> Master Kratos! Thank you for coming. Much to discuss. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. I think that's the long and short of it. Safe travels. Hi, take the hint. Go away! Okay, then. We're sticking around. To Anaheim. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So, what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. Sure. 
but he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. <laughs>